Okay, I'm, now I'm I'm another member leaves, and now you have to look for another member uh, in Steps Vinny. It's, it, I think a little explanation about Ace is Ace really didn't decide to leave at all. Ace happened to have been in a big car accident in April. <clears throat> And uh, how's he doing? He's fine, as you know, as long as he doesn't run around and lead a rock and roll lifestyle. You know, well. no <laughs> Ace and rock and roll are synonymous. Synonymous. <clears throat> and his car was totaled. His, he doesn't have a Porsche anymore. He's lucky to be alive. And we were all really concerned. And we recorded the album and tried to make sure that Ace was involved as much as he could be while he was recovering. And in fact, took a. Uh, promotional trip to Europe together. Ace went on, the, on that ride. And, you know, you could tell that the strain was just too much. And then we had to make a decision. Are we going to sit still again and not be kissed, or are we going to try to sort of wait it out? We decided to go ahead. I think at that point, w what we were worried about was not does the band continue, but do we sit around and wait, or do we go out and, and tour? We hadn't toured in three years. And past a certain point, you either call it a day or you start touring. For a band like KISS, the most important thing is to, to be there with the public. And with a new album, it was really important that we go out and tour. So, Vinny, explain what, how you uh, got into KISS now. Explain uh, the biggest thing to happen in somebody's life, um, in two words. Uh, it's, you guys are beautiful and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's amazing, it's a, it, an amazing story of fate being twisted. Yeah, you and I met by every, accident, completely. In every possible way that fate could be twisted. That's the, the, the given story of, uh, of how I'm here today with you, beautiful How did you gentlemen. meet Gene? Uh, Gene was riding with a friend of mine, uh, a mutual friend. Who may, no longer who may be not here. be my friend anymore, <laughs> as of uh, hearing the final word today. Um, we were both riding with the same guy, and Gene was over there one day. And I happened to come over, and I really wanted to meet Gene. And uh, sort of on the sly, I said, Gene, here's my telephone number, and you know, if you ever get a chance, give me a call. And only today did I find out <laughs> I have no longer the same friend that he does. <laughs> Maybe. You don't know. Maybe. No. Um, Actually, he might be annoyed because he sort of went through the back door <clears throat> to get into... It's, it's one of those difficult situations because you really... You only you don't know if you're ever going to see this person again, and it's sort of that that last. It was like both that and Ingrid Berg. That last yeah. move, like here's my phone number, and yeah. hopefully nobody else. Oh. But anyway, uh, from there, uh, we just hit it off as as friends and um, well, lovers. Started, well, <laughs> we started writing I songs. Want, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> uh, we started writing songs, is what happened. We started writing songs and. We realized we had the same influences, and we we liked the same people, and uh, same groups, same players, same guitarists, uh, and it just one thing led to another uh, as far as writing. So we started writing more, and let's see. From there, I met Paul. Well, then then we were involved in the in working on the record. <clears throat> and at some point at the end of the record, we realized that Ace wasn't going to be with us, so we then auditioned guitar players from and all over America. And Vinny had played on the record. Yeah. Vinny co-wrote three of the songs on the album and played some of the solos, <clears throat> but we kind of, you know, put Vinny to the side. So what you went through with Eric now, you had to go through it again with the auditions. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it was Vinny. worse. Yeah. I think it was much worse. Yeah. We, we were literally flying in people every day from all around the country and at the same time working on the album. So what we would do is probably put in about 15 hours a day in the studio, go home, sleep a little, get up in the morning, go audition guitar players, and then go back to work. Almost every guy that walked in through the door was uh, convinced that he was a star. And that's okay, you know, to sort of have that as a, as a part of your ego makeup. <clears throat> and makeup, as you know, is very important. <laughs> but these guys would come in with, uh, you know, the biggest attitudes. Okay, you guys ready? Come on, let's go. Let's play. You know, all this sort of... See, now, that, you know. I, that kind of attitude I can't understand because you'd think somebody would go in there uh, like a lamb and be scared to death because yeah, he's people, joining KISS, you're not joining him. Some people get the feeling that, that they're going to meet you on your level. But... Uh, I mean, that's not the way we are, so it's kind of weird because if you figure somebody's like that when they're just auditioning, it's kind of like um, Pandora's box. That's your cue. You know Pandora. <coughs> it, it's, um, 
you know, I mean, it's like opening a can of worms. If somebody's like that when you're auditioning them, once they're in the band, they're only going to be that much worse. Yeah. And we never like to kill members of the band. <laughs> you have a, an attitude about uh, 